Bum, 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 bum. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben. Today is a guitar lesson, but hold on. I'm going to play a song in just a moment that starts out with banjo, then it goes to guitar. So be sure and hang out for that guitar solo because I think it's pretty stinking cool. Now we're going to learn this guitar solo for There's a Fountain. I learned the arrangement from my good friend Jim Britton on banjo. Um, and so I built a guitar arrangement for it too. If you're watching here on the website, Check out this preview, and then you just click on the next video segment, download the tabs, all that good stuff. If you're watching somewhere else, I'd be honored to have you on board. Let's learn this guitar solo to There's a Fountain. We're going to do it in the key of C. We have our traditional chords in the key of C. We've got a C, F, and a G. However, Jim Britton's arrangement goes to a B flat, a flat seven in the chorus. And so we'll talk about that when we get there. But here's what I'm aiming for in this particular solo. I'm aiming for cool things to do and easier things to do at a faster tempo because this song is trucking along and it's difficult to just play a, an onslaught of eighth notes there. So we want to cover the melody and not work too hard so that we can play it fast and clean and also play some things that are interesting, that are fun to listen to. And I think we accomplish it with this solo. I love playing out of key of C. We're going to start on the third beat. Now, what does the melody do? The melody does this. And that melody's in there, in that first line. Isn't it? Okay, so what else were we adding there? Well, we're adding a few cross-picking notes. So as we land there on that G note, we're going to add some cross-picking notes from that C chord. go up to that F chord, I'm just going to bar the first two strings. Here's our melody note, so we're adding that one as a harmony note, and then catching the melody. Okay. So again, we can play this really fast, but it has all of the elements that we need. It has all the melody there, and it has some cool little filler notes too. Now, one way that we can keep it interesting as we go into the next line without getting more difficult, is to begin some syncopation. So, so far we've heard a lot of notes on downbeats, on the one, two, three, and four, with a few other notes thrown in. This time, if we skip some of the downbeat notes, just don't play anything, it gives an impression that there's more complexity there than there is, and it breaks up the monotony a little bit of always having notes falling on that downbeat. That's what we're going to do here in measure seven. Listen. That's pretty simple but it has lots of effect. So we're not playing a note on the downbeat of three. One and two and rest and four and. And just that little bit of change is going to add a lot. Uh 
Oh, sorry. So the rest of that line's pretty straight up. Let me play it for you. Next line, we have some repeating. We've already played that. Now, in measure 12, we're going to walk up chromatically to this next melody note. Okay, so technically that note is not in the C major scale, but it's a seventh tone of the C major scale, which points us to the F chord, which is where we're going. Some more double stop harmony. Easy to play, but sounds great at fast tempos. The whole line. Start the last line of the, <laughs> of the verse, excuse me, with a slide, then back down. You can do that with your pinky or your ring. Now I'm going to reach down and grab a F note there, that's the seventh tone of the G. Then we'll walk into the chorus, but that whole line. Okay, now we're going to go into the verse, or into the chorus next. Um, if you're a member of the website, then you just click on the next video segment. If you're watching somewhere else, I'd be honored to have you on board. Let's do this before we do that. Let's play the, through the whole verse slowly, uh, just so we can kind of get it all under our fingers. Check it out. One, two. Let's keep going. 